Alright, so the full details, King of Charmanders here for Community are finally out and they're really exciting. So it's not as dreadful as we thought. Originally we thought there was going to be no Community Day moves available when you evolve, but there's actually a different story and we're going to go over every single piece. So like I mentioned before, if you watch my other video regarding Community Day, this is a more in-depth version, a deeper analysis. As you see here, it's going to be held on Saturday, December 12th and Sunday, December 13th. Throughout the events, basically everything Pokemon featured in community events through not 2009, 2020. So the past two years will be more frequent in the wild and raids. So you're going to get to encounter the shiny Pokemon as well. However, this is the PvP analysis. So we're not interested in all the other mumbo jumbo. If you want shiny, you get shinies later. Right now, we are looking for PvP stuff. And like I said, two day event and it's going to be really exciting. So the Pokemon that are going to be a freak more appearing more frequently in the wild are going to be Charmander, Weedle, Abra, Gasly, Rhyhorn, Like the Buzz, Magmar, Porygon, Seedot, etc. Piplop. All right. So we're gonna I'm gonna go over like each individual Pokemon. So like each individual, what you should look out for for each one. All right. So the Pokemon you should look out for in the wild, Charmander, Charmander for future Dras Blast Burn. You want Weedle. You actually want all of them. Get as many as you can. The ones that you can kind of ignore are Electabuzz and Magmar. We just had Community Day for those, so you can kind of ignore those as well. Catch them for the extra dust if you want to. Otherwise, save your. you can save them. Magikarp's a good one. If you're looking for your Platinum Magikarp medal, at the same time, Gyarados is still really good for PvP. That's a good one as well. And also, Seedot and Piplup. So, Seedot and Piplup are really good as well c dot for shiftry shiftry is a beast in great league and can be viable in ultra league piplup for empoleon for all three leagues it's incredibly powerful so if you want to piplup you're definitely the ones you want to look after or you want to key in our charmander well not charmander the two most important ones on this list are actually c dot are actually probably c dot and piplup C dot and Piplop because these two mons are very very powerful in like respective go valley c dot piplop you're Probably second priority is going to be Magikarp and Charmander. And then third priority, if you want to go after it, Weedle, Weedle and Ghastly. Weedle and Ghastly. The rest you can kind of skip. Or like like I said, you don't really have to prioritize them too much. In the raids, you have Totodile, Swinub, Mudkip, Ralts, Slackout, Trap Inch, Bagon, Turtwig, and Chimchar. The, the ones in the raids are obvious. Now, the problem is these aren't going to be very PvP IV relevant. However, for Master League... Mudkip is one that you should definitely look out for. Mudkip is a monster in Master League. So in raids, Mudkip is probably the only one you want to go after. The rest of them aren't really good for Go Battle League in any other regard. You can probably, yeah, probably just Mudkip, honestly. Mudkip for Master League. Because raid Pokemon only have, only Mac, like, the minimum is 10, 10 IVs for everything. So the only one you want to go after is raids. However, and for 2k eggs... What you should prioritize is definitely Mudkip. Mudkip, Slackoth. Mudkip, Slackoth, and then the rest are kind of just like, okay. But just for trades, really. Because the thing about Mudkip and Slackoth, like I said, it's the same reason for raids. The minimum for raiding and for eggs is 10, 10, 10. So you won't be able to get one with low attack and high defense and HP for PV, for like optimal PvP IVs. Unless you're going for like a hundo, which I said like before, Mudkip is the one you want to go after the most. Mudkip for that perfect swamper for ultra league for for masters for masters premier and you can use them for trades too but the one yeah you can use them for trades too so that's the most important those are the most important mons you want to go after mudkip for raids and in the wild several ones except several ones like charmander like i said charmander ghastly magic carp c dot and piplup all right now this is the most exciting news so pokemon if you evolve these following Pokemon for the event, they will get an exclusive attack. 2018 community moves, I think like Charmander with like Charizard with Dragon, like Charizard with Blast Bird, 
let's see, the other, like, Gen 1 starters, as well as, I think, Mag like, Meganium with, with Frenzy Plant, you'll get it later. But there are some you want to get now. So, like, or there's, like, at least a few. It's better to have something than to have nothing, you know what I mean? So, if you have these Pokemon built, you can get their community move, which is really great. And some of them are actually really viable for PvP. So, there's not many, but we're going to key in on the ones that you want. The first is definitely Haunter with Gengar that knows Shadow Punch. If you have one, yes, this is kind of a lower priority, but this is one that's really good to have. Rhyperior with Rock Wrecker. This is really great for raids. Like, I'm going to be a little bit on the raid side too, because a Rhyperior with Rock Wrecker does really well against rock Flying and Rock. So, you want you want to you want to get some if you want to use one. If you get ones for level 35, Evolve and you can use it for raids. That's my spiel for it. It's Magic Cup to Gyarados. I know it's Aqua Tail. This one's huge as well. Aqua Tail is very good in Ultra and Master League. So you want a Gyarados that knows both of these. You and let's see. Let's go down even more. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Go down. Vigorith with Body Slime. Well, this is actually no. That's not. That's not it. Let's see. This is the most important one right here. This is the most important one right here. This is for sure the most important one. Marsh Stomp to get a Swamper that knows Hydro Cannon. Swamper with Hydro Cannon is one of the most powerful Mud Boys in all three leagues. Get one. Or you evolve, if you don't have one, get one. Or evolve the one you get so that you can get it. Also, I'm going to put this on technical summary, but if you evolve a Shadow Marsh Stomp, it will get an exclusive move if it happened to get, if you match the TMOA frustration, you can get Hydro Cannon on a Shadow Swamper. This is super important. You definitely want to get a Swampert with Hydro Cannon with all three leagues. Find one now if you can. If you already have one built, guess what? Hydro Cannons come for your Swampert, baby. Another one, the, the second most important one, in my opinion, is going to be Empoleon that knows Hydro Cannon. Empoleon across all three leagues is also very good as well. It's very powerful in all three. Not so much as Swampert, but Empoleon is still a beast. Definitely the second two here. So two of the water starters are definitely what you want to, the most important ones you want to go after. The rest you can kind of like, the rest you can still go, I would go after the rest just in case, like you can still evolve them, etc. However, Swampert and, Swampert and Empoleon are definitely the two most important ones. And some miscellaneous, info, and yeah, that's definitely those two. So again, Empoleon with Hydro, I mean Swampert with Hydro Cannon, definitely number one priority. Next is... Pulling with Hydro Cannon, and then, you know, like, Aqua and then Aqua Tail, Aqua Tail, Aqua Tail, Magikarp to Gyarados, and Shadow Punch, Pontra to Gengar for Shadow Punch. Those are the most important ones for sure that you want for PvP. And some miscellaneous information. Here's the technical summary. Here's a list of Pokemon you want to go after for each subject. There's a summary right there. Other miscellaneous information, both days will have double Stardust. Why it's not triple dust, I don't know. I would, it, I would go, I would honestly, like, like, I would just kick Hatch Distance to the curb, because Hatch Distance, there's only, like I said, there's only one Pokemon from eggs that are really important, which is basically Mudkip. Other than that, I don't, like, Stardust is more important, in my opinion, so it is double Catch Dust, so it is worth it for both days for you to grind. If you can grind the whole day, do it, if you can, because it's definitely worth it going after both days as you see here double catch this is amazing and also different pokemon will be going out in the wild so for the first day the first day you definitely want to go after weedle and c dot you see well you can go after all of them so c dot so weedle c dot piplup especially piplup for sure in the wild and then on sunday sunday magikarp charmander so magikarp and charmander etc magikarp charmander Definitely March Card Chart Method. Those are the ones you want. And that's it, you guys. It's very exciting to hear because originally the news we get, there will be, there's like, the original news we got is yes, 2018 mods will not be getting their exclusive moves. So that dishes out Meganium. However, it's good to know that we're not getting completely shafted. And there are some Pokemon that will actually be able to get their community day moves, which is really nice. So if you don't have like Frenzy Plant Meganium, which is one that's really viable, Frenzy Plant Venusaur, those will be available in 2021. But for now, we're stuck with this. Again, here's a list on the left. I hope, uh, I'm, it's really exciting to see this news. I was hoping to see some Stardust for this event. It looks like we're getting it. 
And with the incense boosted back, you can actually do this from home if you're comfortable, or if you can safely do it, you can go grind. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe. I do this as soon as I can. As soon this news came out literally like an hour ago, and I here's the video right here. So I will do this as soon as I can if I have the time to do it. And this is the perfect time. So guys, again, if you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next video. And then uh, when we get more information regarding 200, the, to the community day moves in 2021, I'll put those videos out. You guys have a great day and I will see you on the next video.